Here's pretty much all the equipment and materials I take with me when I'm painting outside somewhere. Let me show you what I have. Most of the materials fit into this big green box, which will stay in the vehicle. I like to use terry cloth towels. They soak up a lot more than paper towels and are less wasteful. Bring lots of plastic bags to put dirty rags and garbage in. And then I like to use disposable gloves. This is a box of various sundries. The first thing in the box are spring clamps. I use them to clamp down my panels and a host of other odd things. I keep a roll of paracord on hand, which you can get at home centers. I use it to lash down my easel in the wind or, or anything else you can think of. It's really handy. I always carry a Swiss Army knife or a Leatherman tool that has a knife and a screwdriver attachment. I'll bring these paper clips if I'm working on paper or even on canvas panels. They're really handy to clip things down. And push pins. Push pins always seem to be useful for something. A roll of tape, either white artist tape or even blue painter's tape is great to mask out areas of a painting. And a small notebook with good drawing paper. I use it to take notes or cut up sheets of paper or make some sketches or a stencil. And don't forget something to write with and something to cut the paper with. A empty gallon paint can can be filled with sand to make a weight. And when I'm traveling, I store different fluids and stuff in it, such as Galkid or Galkid Light, which I use to help the paint uh, dry quicker. I'll pour some in a squeeze bottle and thin it to how I like it, and then I'll carry the squeeze bottle in my pack. I also have a squeeze bottle that has my mineral spirits in it. And I'll pack the two squeeze bottles and I'll leave the full bottle of Gel Kid in the paint pail in the car. I also keep extra Gamsol mineral spirits in the vehicle. And then I'll keep this toolbox in the car which is filled with all my paint and some tools. This toolbox contains all my paint and palette knives, and from here I pick out the paint I'll take with me to the location. The selection of colors I'll be using I pack in some Ziploc bags. I like to use two different size palette knives, but I can't remember what size these are anymore, but so they're about the size of the scissors. And then I've also become really fond of using Elkid gels as an alternative to Galkid. You just squeeze out the amount you need. Utrecht makes an Elkid gel, and so does Sennelier, which is called Gel and Dry. I like to bring an assortment of mixing containers. It seems like I can never have enough space to mix colors in, so individual containers are, are great for that. And back in my big green box, I have some old gallon Gamsol containers with the tops cut off, and I add a little bit of safflower oil in them, and that's where I store my brushes. And then I pick the brushes I want, and I put them in a rag and a plastic bag to take with me. I also keep a selection of canvas panels and boards in the box. Here is the larger equipment I carry. If I'm walking a fire distance, I'm not going to be able to take all of this stuff, but it's nice to have it on hand. Being outside can be really exhausting, and sometimes it's nice to be able to sit on something rather than on the ground. So I found this camp stool at a garage sale, and it has a great side pocket to carry water and put my snacks and stuff in. This is my easel with a pallet box. It's kind of a homemade Pouchade type box that I'm still making adjustments to. I've mounted it to a simple lightweight wooden tripod easel and I use spring clamps or push pins to secure the panels. If I were using a three-quarter inch canvas, I'd mount that to the top and I'd use the uh, easel's top clamp. 
I never seem to have enough working surfaces when I'm outdoors, so it's imperative to have some type of table. For years, I've used a beat up old TV tray, which is super lightweight. It holds my brushes and thinner and tools, and it can even support a lightweight plywood palette for more mixing surface. And if I don't have far to walk, I'll take this homemade table, which is a dream when it comes to usable space. The top comes off and the whole thing folds up and I can easily carry it with one hand. It's always nice to use an umbrella to get out of the sun, but it really depends on wind conditions. For myself, I found that it's easier to adjust, more stable, to use a second lightweight easel to clamp the umbrella to. So I can get all my paint and tools and rags and gloves and palette and extra painting supports in this Carpenter's Canvas tool bag. It has lots of great pockets and a shoulder strap that leaves both my hands free to carry anything else. Or I've even used this old backpack. I can get everything inside plus bungee cord, the easel, and the TV tray to the back of the pack. It works really great and I would use this if I have the farthest distance to travel. Okay. Don't forget you.